and welcome to my virtual laboratory. So today we're going to learn conversion of units. Let's go! Oh, hello there! I am going to Mexico using my magic carpet. Our test for today is to find out how many days it will take for me to go to Mexico and we will convert that to hours in minutes. Will you help me to do that? Yes? Let's go! Mexico and Bohut City are one day 19 hours far apart if you drive non-stop using my match carpet. Alright, so this time let us convert uh, one day to hours. So since we have a direct conversion and that is one day is equals to 24 hours. So basically this one day is automatically equal to 24 hours. So, if we travel from Bullhead City to Mexico uh, for one day in 19 hours, so our first solution will be uh, to add that 24 hours because that's equal to one day to 19 hours. So, 24 plus 19 equals 43 hours. Get it? All right, so this time let us convert 43 hours to minutes. So we are going to use the conversion factor, which is 1 R is equals to 60 minutes. So for the solution, you're going to write the given 43 R's and then multiply it to the given conversion factor. So if you will notice, I put the 60 minutes in the numerator and then this 1 R in the denominator. So I can cancel out this unit and this unit um, because they are similar. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna do is multiply 43 to 60. So 43 times 60 minutes is equals to 2,580 minutes. Divided by one, still equal to 2,580 minutes. So that means um, 43 hours is equals to 2,580 minutes. All right, so this time let us have another sample problem, but uh, in this case, we're going to convert seven days to hours. So again, remember the conversion factor that is one day is equal to 24 hours. So for our solution, we're going to copy the given that is seven days, and we're going to multiply it with the given conversion factor. So this 24 hours, I put it in the numerator, and then this one day, I put it in the denominator. So I can cancel out this unit and this unit. So you can see the remaining unit is hours, which is the required unit. So the next thing that you're going to do is to multiply 7 to 24. So 7 times 24 hours is equal to 168 hours divided by 1. So that is still equal to 168 hours. So that means 7 days is equal to 168 hours.